Steve Banks, last week a Miami University alum was convinced that he had fallen victim to theft after his car just disappeared while he was at work. But after receiving an unexpected phone call, he says the truth was beyond what he could have imagined. Brenda Ordonez has that story. Well, let me just paint the scene for you. It happened here on West High Street in Oxford. Now, with tons of restaurants and bars, this area really becomes party central with college students at night. Now, that's why the victim tells me he wasn't all that shocked when he got a call from college age students telling him that in a drunken stupor, they accidentally took his car and drove it to Indiana. I wasn't even supposed to work that night. I was helping someone else out. But as the manager for Dobie's on West High Street, Andrew responded to the call last Wednesday, pulling into his usual parking space in the front of the restaurant. But in his rush to get to work, Andrew forgot one important thing. I just left the keys in the car. Not long into his shift, surveillance from inside Dobie's shows Andrew serving a customer at the counter, while the window next to him shows his car's headlights turn on, his car back up, and drive off into the night. None of it felt like it was real. Like I was more just kind of astonished than I was like angry or stressed out about it. Andrew filed a report with Oxford police who were investigating. That is until he received an unexpected call the next morning. They're saying that they accidentally took my car home. I was like, well, how does how do you accidentally take a car home? According to police reports, an unknown woman was picking up a friend that had been drinking that night. When the sober woman arrived, the intoxicated friend led her to Andrew's car, thinking it was theirs. The pair got in the car and drove it all the way to Indiana. It wasn't until the next morning they realized they got in the wrong car. I asked him on the phone too. I was like, well, like, how do you guys know to contact me? And I just got an oil change at Walmart earlier that week. And I guess I left my paperwork in the car that had my phone number on it. So. Thankful for that. Minus a strong odor of alcohol, Andrew says his car was intact and decided not to press charges. I think it's just important that a lot of people do have empathy and that, you know, mis you can't live a whole life without making mistakes and understanding that you will make those mistakes and wanting to rectify them is is really important. Andrew says he'll never forget his keys again and has a newfound appreciation for what he almost lost. Again, Andrew is not pressing charges. Oxford police are just advising residents to always keep their keys with them and lock their cars so things like this don't happen. For now in Oxford, Brenda Ordonez, Fox 19 Now.